Today I'm going to show you how to change spark plugs on your hybrid Honda Ionic. Uh, don't even know, I haven't looked under it yet, so we'll see what's going on. Let's see what's under here. Whoa, a whole lot of cover. The only tools you need for this job is a 5 8 spark plug socket, an extension or two, and then a 10 millimeter socket, a ratchet, and need a nose pliers. That's it. Got a big cover here. Uh, you can see underneath it, the little engine's there. So we're going to take this off. First, you need a 10 millimeter for two bolts here. This holds on this cover piece. Pull that off. And take these off. See how far we gotta take this thing off. There we go. I'm gonna take some needle nose, get this piece off of it. It's clamped in here, there we go. This is clamped too. A couple clamps here you take off just to pull the wires. So this should come off now, there we go. So I got the front cover off, it wasn't too bad. Uh, you take this clamp off here, and this you can do it with a 10 mil or a uh, screwdriver. And it comes from those two. And that's your MAF sensor there, so be careful. This plug underneath, you press in this button to pull it out. And then my needle nose, what I used is to pinch these two pieces here and pull it off the holder right here on the left side. So that's off. Here's your engine. This is the combustion engine. Uh, I have no idea what your generator is. <laughs> Not too good with hybrid stuff, but there's like a motor. I don't know. So here's your uh, coil packs here. We're going to take those off. Uh, looks like we might just be able to take these off with whatever is right there. Out removing that. So this is like a locking tab here. You just pull. It's not very easy. This one it was. So your locking tab comes up. So I pulled the locking tab up and then you can push the black part down and it comes right off. But getting that locking tab is the harder part. All right, so bolts are all taken out, plugs are taken out. Now just wiggle and pull, and it should pop right out. You see that's dry, no oil, no wetness, good to go. I'm gonna place it here, and I'm gonna do, so one, two, three, four, left to right. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, just so they go back in the same place. It doesn't matter that much, but it would be nice to keep it, you know, because it's plugged in as number two to your computer. You want to make sure that it's running the same. Nothing kind of changes and then it runs different. These should be good for a long time. Coil packs have worked for a long, long time. They're pretty good technology now. So I'm going to take them off. Bloop. All of them. One, two. I love the sound. And this one's a little tricky. Just got to turn it a little bit and then pull it out gently. There we go. Now, that's your coil packs, your spark plugs are each in there. Down, way down there, you can see it. Right there in the center. Now, that's where having the spark plug socket. This is a 5 8 spark plug socket. It's got a little rubber in there, you can't really see it. That way, when you put the spark plug in, all the way, you push down on it, and that rubber holds it in so you can pull it out. If you don't have one of these, you could get a magnet or something and pull it out. So I'm going to get to that. These are uh, like one of the best spark plugs, laser, iridiums, whatever. They're very, very expensive. You can buy cheaper ones, but I went with expensive ones. That way I should never have to change them again. This being a hybrid, the engine runs less. So even though this car has 70,000 miles on it, uh, that's split between the engine and the hybrid motor. So this should probably have 40, 50,000 miles on it. But I'm just going to change it anyways. 
Uh, enough talking. Let's get back to it. All right, so I'm going to use double extension and my spark plug socket. You can just get one long extension. I have one, but it's kind of hidden somewhere. So I'm going to put it in there, and then you want to brace it. Oh, woo, this is tight. Break it loose. There we go. I like to break them each and then take it out. So I just go like this. Get it broken, relatively loose. And then I can go in there. Actually, what I can do now, now that it's broken, just put it in there and there we go. We'll just go ahead and do that on each. So here's my spark plugs. One, two, three, four. They look decent. They're not uh, wet. You can note none of them are wet, which is good. No oil or coolant on them. It's a little rusty looking there. A little black on top. That means it's running rich, I believe. They're all about the same. Um, yeah, they're all pretty much the same. All right, so I take it here. Push it in so it sticks, and then you gently let it down, and then you just start twisting nice and soft. If it gets real tight immediately, you're cross-threading, back it back out, and redo it. But I'm just going to do this. Seems like it's threaded, and if it's not threading, it'll come back out. But you see it popped off? That means it's in there. It's threaded. Oops. So I'm going to take this one, same thing. Push it in there. Number two. Simple. Now I'm going to get my ratchet. And you want to tighten it with your ratchet. Not with the impact. Don't want to tighten it too much, but you want it tight enough that it's not going to come loose. Good to go. Good. All right, now we're gonna place these caps the same way I got them. Just clean them off a little bit. So I'm gonna slide it in here. This one's the difficult one. Just gotta make sure you get that angle in there, turn it, push it down. There we go. My kids are out there playing. Just push it in. Nothing too crazy. The bolt is going to hold it down. So you just want to make sure that it slides over the uh, spark plug. You can kind of feel it when it gets there. Now I'm going to put the bolt in and then I'll tighten, I'll put the plugs on. So you want to do these hand tight. Once again, if it gets tight immediately, you're cross threading it. You want to back out and redo it. Just get them turning a couple times. Now we're going to get our 10 millimeter socket again, and we're going to tighten these down. These are just going to be snug, but nothing crazy. I just like to use my wrist. At the, don't use it by the handle, use it by up here. So you don't break the bolt or the threads in there. So that's good. I'm going to push these plugs back on. Once you push the plug in, make sure you push that gray piece. It's your locking tab. Push that down so it stays on. Push on. So you should hear two clicks. One should be, oops, <laughs> one should be when you push it on, and then the other when you lock the click. All done. Looks good. Now we're gonna put the, uh, the cover on. All right. So there's this piece. So I'm just gonna lay it kind of over here. Uh, what we want is this piece is going to go down in there and then the two pieces that I took off on the left side that you guys saw. So first, I think I want it kind of lined up in the back and then I can push this tube on. That's good. Now, 
We'll push this tube on. And those are good. Now I need to tighten these, connect the two connectors. Well, there's one connector here, but there's a clip here that you just push on. And then under here, you push up into it. Make sure those are clipped in, just so the wires aren't, you know, brushing on anything. And then this is your MAP sensor. This has to be plugged in. If you forget to plug that in, it won't run right. So now these are two 10 millimeter. Make sure those are tight. That's on. You don't want these backing off. Tight. Now over here, you're going to put the two bolts that I put in that you saw me take out. So I'm going to put those in. Once again, thread it by hand. Get it turning a couple times so you don't cross thread. Put it on. So now, after you're done changing the spark plugs, uh, you want to start the engine make sure it runs. All right, hope this video helps you change your spark plugs on your hybrid. Uh, pretty simple, this big cover piece was really just the biggest part about it. You can tell, you know, the colors are very vibrant on where the coil backs and stuff are. So if this video helped you, leave a comment. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. As always, see you guys next time.